Hello everyone and welcome back to Jack Scraps. Thanks for joining me today for the Boho Baby banner and card. I previously shared with you how I created a card and banner for our baby boy and I did the same for the baby girl. So let's dig into the project. With the leftover scraps, which weren't many from the Boho Baby collection, I created a card. Now I used a Cricut Design Space file and this was created by someone else, but it was a fabulous card and I had to just do it. It even came with the file to cut out the envelope, which was awesome. And here is the card. I used some shimmer cardstock here for the base. We have white cardstock for this white rectangle. We have a pattern paper in the back and this adorable little outfit so cute the file even came with like this one inch hanger as you can see here oh my gosh so super cute i'm gonna definitely use that for some other things it was so adorable and then i used a chipboard element from the boho collection and i used my cricut to print out hello little one here which is on top of white cardstock as well as this rose gold mirror card. And then when we open it up, ta-da, we have a nice pop-out element. I just love that. My baby girl alpha is cut out in the Boho Baby paper collection and then I used the mirror card behind it. On the sides, I used the pattern paper to uh, create the decorative element. And then I put white cardstock over that. I plan to write a message here and then to also include the QR codes, one for the mini album video and one for the onesie album video and just put those over here so she can just go right to them. And I adore this card. It's so super cute. I love that it has a pop out feature. So for those that do have the Cricut, I will link this down below. Now, again, this isn't my file, but I thought I would share it in case you'd like to make it as well. Now, if you watched my previous video on how to create the pennant banner for the baby boy, it is similar for the baby girl. I just did a few things different when it came to decorating. So I'm actually going to start with decorating and then I'll show you the final banner at the end. For this one, I started with the burgundy artisan cardstock from Country Craft Creations. It's wonderful cardstock. It's a nice heavy weight, but not too heavy that you can't score it. So it's just wonderful. Again, I use the same shape that I did for the baby boy. So here you have one with the pattern paper already down, which is actually a Heidi swap paper. So I put that on foam and here is my piece to add here. I just use foam adhesive again. I found I need one of those really large foam adhesive rolls. Do any of you have those? Because they always look like it's too much. But then when you make banners, you need a lot. <laughs> so I'm going to add this in between our little slots there and up to the top. I'm not going all the way to the edge. That's just too far in my opinion. So I'm just kind of aligning it there at the top of the slots and centering that in between them. And then I end up with about a fourth of an inch border around the three sides. The top is a little bit shorter. Next, what I did was took some tool from my stash and this is a white tool that has these silver dots on it in different sizes, which I thought would be perfect for this. So I've cut two of those out. Let me back up a minute and tell you the sizes. So the base is four by five and a half. The pattern paper is three and a half by five. So this will be three and a half by five as well. I actually took the pattern paper and use that as a template to cut out the tool. Now I'm just putting the tool on where I want it to go. You'll see why here in a moment. 
And then what I'm going to do is take my alpha, which I used the same alpha that I used in the Our Baby Boy pennant banner. Again, I just love the little images that are attached to the alpha. And I've already added my foam adhesive to the back side, so I'm going to just remove this. Okay, now I'm going to bring in one of the pieces that are already done. I'm lining these up so I can use this as my guide on where to place my alpha down. So I'm just putting my hand down on the tool so that it doesn't move. And then I'm going to go ahead and place this right where I think it lines up with the previous one. Sometimes I like to check it yeah, that seems good. And you'll notice that I placed this on here by trying to center the alpha regardless of any of the additional pieces that were on the alphabet. Then I kind of just push that down. Now what I do is actually lift off the tool and I add glue to the back side. And this is to actually glue down the tool as well as the alpha a little bit more securely. I think it would work with the foam adhesive, but it doesn't go all the way through. So I felt that the tool needed something a little bit more to help it grab. And that's basically all the glue I'm putting on besides the last piece here. I'll show you that in a moment. Okay, so then I put this back on get everything lined up and then make sure that's securely down. For this I used a foil cardstock as well that I had in my stash. It's like an aqua color. I thought went perfect with this rainbow page that I selected from Heidi Swap. There we go. Next I added some of this adhesive Pearl. I think I got this from the Dollar Tree as well. I'm not sure. I did add additional glue to the back of this. Lining these two up again, using that as my guide to place down my pearls here. That looks good. And then I had these flowers in my stash that I picked up from Hobby Lobby in the wedding section. I'm going to add a, a sticky dot to the back side of that and add it onto my alpha. I think it would be cute here, yeah. Okay, ooh, it's stuck, so I gotta go with it. <laughs> so there's that one done, super cute. And I'm going to repeat the same process over here using the N. Now I do have to add my foam adhesive to the back of this. It's going to take a little bit more time. So I'm just going to do that off screen, but you saw then a whole one put together. Well, I'm glad I took some time to create this one off screen because I realized that I had the wrong alpha. It was not the N that I needed, it was an R. <laughs> that would have been a horrible mistake. So that one is done as well. And now we're ready to string this all together, but let me show you the actual one I have done. This is the middle name. Again, I left a long tail on here so that there's plenty of room to hang this up. And here is the pennant banner. Really pretty. So for this one, what I did was just add two beads in the center and I kind of alternated the beads. We have a 
pink and green and then we have yellow and a light pink and then i alternate those and then on the end i put these adorable little charms that have the little baby feet on it there as well I had thought about adding a tassel in between these because I had this and I thought it would look kind of cute. But when you go to hang it up, it kind of stuck to the tool, which was annoying. And then these kind of hang at an angle, which I also found kind of annoying because of the way you actually hang these up. So I decided to not use the tassels, but that is an option that you could do is add tassels in between these. It actually looked kind of pretty. Let me just show you a few here. I had these all in my stash and I thought those would have went perfect with this because they were burgundy and green. Um, but anyways, I decided against it. So this is the one. I thought we would kind of do this other one together. So here's all my letters. I had to be careful when I was doing this. I actually had the two end ones the wrong color, so I had to change those. You really have to pay attention <laughs> when you're wanting to alternate the patterns and everything. So what I'm going to use again is some yarn. I just had this in my stash. Um, oh, this is from the Dollar Tree. Good old Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to, I don't know, make a couple lengths based on the size of the name here. I'm going to do one more. So how about four lengths just to be safe? That should be good. Probably way more than we need, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. I have my beads that I'm using from Design Bead Design Co. That's these. Just going to leave those here to the side. And I'm going to use the same charms on the end. They really go this way, but I just flipped the one around. You can't really tell. So we'll leave those up there. Okay, so I'm going to take my little trusty threader tool and put a good length through that. I'm going to start by adding my beads on here and I'm going to add like this light pink or it's a clear, I'm not sure, it might be a clear. And then my charm, making sure my foot is going inward. And then my yellow bead, because I want that to match the top color on the flag there. And I'm going to leave a good length on this side before I move on to threading it. Okay, we go in the first hole. And then, like I said, I'm going to leave a bit of a long tail here. I'm just going to scoot these up. I'd rather have too much than not enough on the tail. <laughs> and we're going to go in the back side now. We'll come back and tie a knot here afterward. Okay. Now we can add our next one. And here I'm going to add yellow because this is yellow on top here. And then I'm going to add a pink for the next one. Let me go into our next letter and through the back side and basically just repeat that process. I make sure these are kind of close together. There's a little wiggle room between the letters, but not too much. I don't want the beads to just be so loose that they don't look good. Then I'm gonna continue alternating my beads here 
and the process itself. Okay, now what I do is actually go back through, make sure the spacing is how I want it. If not, just readjust. I think it looks good. And then I tie my knot close to the beads, but not actually right next to it. It can have a little room on the end here because they will fall right down to it. I usually make about three little knots. Like that. to this side and do the same thing. Okay, so there is the final banner. Love how this turned out. It's so cute. Here is the card that I created to go along with this. We have our little onesie mini album. The 8x8 interactive mini album. And then I have a couple store bought items. I found these adorable switch plate covers. I think from the Dollar Tree. Look how cute those are. Had to include those. And then I found this adorable boho baby style um, bib from Hobby Lobby. It was on clearance, and what I loved about it is this adorable little rainbow in the back. I mean, she could even just take that piece and use it as decor if she didn't want to use the bib, but how adorable is that? It's for like her first birthday. I think that'll be so cute. And let's not forget the adorable little baby bottle box that I created to house the banner. Here it is all together, just so adorable. And I'll have this video linked down below for you in case you missed it and a link to the cut files so that you can recreate this project as well as the banner. So that is her entire package. So excited to get ready to ship this off to my great niece. I can't wait to hear what she thinks of everything. She doesn't know all of the bits and pieces that she's getting. So that's going to be fun. She only knew about the mini album. So I hope that you have enjoyed this video and this kind of whole series that I've done on baby stuff. <laughs> it's been a lot of fun. And let me know what you think down below in the comments. Give me a like if you did enjoy this. And don't forget to subscribe for future videos. All right, everyone. I'll see you next time.